I'm Mihiran from uh, from Mihiran Sorbet, and I've opened a new channel called Tech Run, as you're watching it right now. So you, uh, this channel will be specialized on technology and science, while I talk about a lot of other things in Mihiran Sorbet. If you want to uh, find out more about history, then go to Mihiran Sorbet. If you want to find out more about tech and science, then uh, stay in this channel. What both? So uh, in this channel, we'll do multiple topics such as technology, science. We'll do space exploration, we'll talk about how we can achieve these things using tech and science combined together. So that's the, uh, that's the reason behind it because tech and science are extremely connected. And if you can figure out those science by tech, then you can also figure out tech by science and so it's a cycle. So let's move to the lecture room and don't forget to subscribe. And so uh, as you can probably hear from the tech world, there's uh, some new breakthroughs coming out. It's known as virtual reality and alternate reality. Now, so now I just want to point out the difference between these two because regular customers are not going to understand what's the difference between these two. So I've done extensive research and what, uh, what virtual reality means is like you're on a different reality as a whole. You're on a digital reality. Like imagine you're going across and you see like mystical, mythical creatures like which don't exist fake creatures right these creatures then you could be on virtual reality that's what virtual reality would be like but augmented reality will be more like you are able to see those mythical creatures but you are able to uh, project it on the real world meaning like here for example here i could see a, a mythical creature but in uh, in virtual reality it would be a whole different place like in a completely different place this these tiles uh, and this board could be like something completely different in the virtual reality maybe this could be black maybe this wall could be black everything we could uh, we could see anything in virtual reality and multiple companies will release these for developers so developers will do this very clearly not the companies themselves this is kind of not going to be like games consoles where for example like different companies make the games con uh, games consoles right they they make the uh, games consoles and they make the games but in here virtual reality is going to be developed by developers they're not going to be uh, virtual reality games virtual reality apps all of them are going to be developed by the developers like apps right now the thing about augmented reality is it's theoretically going to be developed by developers but it's also going to be developed by the creators have you seen the major app on the iphone if you have an iphone you have probably seen the major app the major app is essentially with augmented reality and it heats up a lot but we won't talk about that so as you can see augmented reality is going to happen now the third major point about here is the third major point is apple why specifically apple well apple is extremely weird in the schedule let me explain so when you could like there was a thing in android which happened like way way before that apple did it but apple didn't just copy it it was very different so there was something called cinematic video which you would find in the iphone these days if you go to an iphone 13 or higher like for iphone 13 or 14 or any of those models we're going to find cinematic video on the pro models this was uh, this came around 2021 so you can understand how new the tech was at that time because it was extremely new and uh, and actually portrait video was for like the DL, dslr and everything from like the photo like the camera industry actually is coming to the phones so next we can see when Samsung did it, well, Samsung did it like, like, it, uh, they beat it like by two years. Okay. They beat it like uh, uh, by uh, two years. So their version of cinematic video, just called portrait video, re was released in 2019. And I mean, it was a developing uh, feature, but it, uh, you can understand how it did. But yet, this was better than this than this right so this happened earlier okay let me just swap that out this happened earlier but it was better right this was better even though this was earlier so so you can kind of understand what apple does we can do another example about this 
so 120 hertz smartphones became like a thing around 20 uh, 2018 you can kind of understand the thing 120 hertz it was an extremely revolutionary tech at the time in tw uh, 2018 or like 2017 it was extremely useful at the time so the thing was about 27 uh, uh, and then this time in 2017 uh, your uh, refresh rate will be extremely low like the refresh rate of how much you touch and you scroll and everything you can scroll much faster in 120 hertz Apple introduced this in like 20 uh, la like uh, like this uh, wait it's last year last year yeah it was last year so you can kind of see the thing but this is much much more of a gap Apple introduced it last year Apple's version was just introduced like 2022 one 2021 2021 so this is why we are waiting for Apple to do this because Samsung is probably going to release their first VR first and then Apple is going to see their VR and everything but now we need to get into the actual thing so how can we figure out that Apple has uh, has planned on doing VR and AR before and are still working on progress on doing it well this is a very simple question extremely simple question so there's a youtuber called mark rober you have seen uh, you have probably seen him because he's like 20 million subscribers here that but if you don't then i'm just going to say this immediately he was a former apple employee he served there for five, four years right so it was a secretive job because he had a youtube channel and if they knew about it then he would probably have to leave apple and everything and uh, apple is also extremely like uh so restricting because their employees cannot show any leaks outside of the world and they might be fired because of that so what he talked about when he finally revealed to us that the, he had been working at apple was that he had invested on apple vr and this is the first sign this means apple actually has interests to invest in this area the apple has interest in there Apple's not gonna be first, but Apple will, Apple will, 100% invest in this area. If they won't, they will probably buy companies. And that brings us to our second evidence, which is that they have bought multiple augmented reality and virtual reality headsets. Now, uh, companies, these are working on those projects, but they were bought by Apple. So, uh, considering that they have bought many companies in the past, which are here they're probably working on it number three thing is with the slow gradual implementation of different things we have been seeing that the iphone has been edging more and more towards alternate reality we might see an alternate reality iphone so here's the thing here's the thing considering all these chances apple is 100 percent working on apple vr and ar now Many people have said that it's going to launch this year. No, it's not going to happen here. In this year, it's not going to happen. It's way too early for a headset. Like you, Apple does it everything late, but they do it well. So probably we're going to see this around when altered reality becomes kind of a thing that exists. And Apple has already implemented it to the iPhones, but haven't created a headset for it. We're going to see it around 2025 probably but we're not sure we might see it at what late 2025 and that let's count this 2020 uh, that will be the time for iphone 17. if they don't re release any special models or anything it will be iphone 16. that brings us to the third part of this video this video was talking previously about the date where this was going to release and what apple is what vr is and what ar is now it's important to remember before before you start saying anything it's important to remember the way thing we are looking for is what's going to be in this headset like what is going to be this and why is this specifically called apple vr and ar why is it specifically called that why is it just apple vr headset and apple ar headset why is it called that right why is it it's separate well Apple is going to release a mixed reality headset. 
A mixed reality headset is between virtual reality and augmented reality. You can kind of think it as like a bit more leaning towards alternate reality, but more like still le uh, still has some virtual reality features. And if this goes successfully, then they might release a new headset and the new headset and may just become a headset a producing company, right? Now I'm going to uh, now we're going to have to look at how this will be possible. First of all, the internet. If there's going to be an Apple headset or glasses or anything, Apple, uh, Apple, if they make it or any company if they make it, we have to figure out how the internet is going to work because it's going to be possible if you carry a set of glasses for them to constantly reconnect to an internet. I mean, I'm saying that like that's what doesn't happen on the iPhones and anything. But the reason I'm saying that is because it's going to be a big problem for headsets. They are going to be next to your screen here. And this, uh, this is why the main problem comes in because your head is farther away from your phone than a glass. So it has a high chance that it may have internet issues considering that it, might, it doesn't have that much space inside. It is like 50% of its space, 40% of its space just for the battery. Because when you expect a, a phone, like a phone or a, a an VR headset, you're going to need more battery because you're going to wear it all day and it's going to drain down all that time because you're using tools everywhere. Oh, that, that is a cabinet, it says it to you. And so it's going to be lowering your charge. So you need like 40% of your area to just be battery. It's like that. Because you, if you think about the tech, they are ready with this tech, but the main problem is, is that the battery, the battery is, needs to be more advanced and still it needs to be 40%. Because with the current measures, this is going to cause a lot of problems because if the battery isn't a bad say, this is the battery of 2022 or 2025. So let's say that if that happens, then what will happen is that 40% battery is not good enough because then uh, then you will need like m much more cooling like 20% cooling then you realize that you have spent 60% majority of your uh, majority of your space just on your battery and then you realize how are you going to fit the screen here well it's going to be on the front okay that's how well what is going to be uh, what is going to be the processor Processing and processors are going to like take up 10%. So you realize all these things are just going to lead to about like uh, wait 70%. So the rest 30% is the only extra features you could get. So with our space, this might be that the, uh, the that the headset is going to be a bit bigger. If you think about it well, then you realize that you need to reduce the battery. But if you reduce the battery, then it's not going to be a portable device like a glass. And then if you do all of that, then how is it going to work? Like how is it going to work? Because 40% battery on a headset next to your uh, eyes is also going to cause a lot of safety problems. Imagine a uh, part of your glasses gets broken whilst you're walking with it. it its battery might explode right on your face and that will be 100% 100% lethal. And that, that will produce a lot of problems for Apple. So you need safety measures also. You need a durable material. What durable material? Well, maybe carbon fiber, maybe all these materials. But then you have the possibility of what if the glass shatters? Well, that happens, the glass, if the glass shatters, then you don't have a headset anymore, it's just like a glass. So what is going to happen? I mean, if there's a lot of safety issues as a whole. So if we need battery, then we also get safety issues because the battery will also explode and then the glass will explode and then everything will happen and it, it's a mess okay so that's the thing if you want a, a form factor like this you can have it so you're going to think about this think about this there's uh, you need to think about this well because then you'll realize that the ba uh, the screen also needs to be good resolution and then it takes up more space so just on that it doesn't possibly fit if it is higher power then maybe in 20 percent it will do it and that's pretty much what is going to happen you're not going to have that many extra features 
And so that's about it of Apple VR. The date it might be released is late 2025. The beginnings of VR and AR and also why Apple is important. And then why this is impossible in today's tech and why it's going to release so later. And so that's it. I'll see you next time. And goodbye.